Thanks for joining us for more Chips and Salsa. This is the show where we talk about security at Intel. I'm Krobe. And I'm Jerry. Today we're talking about the 2023 Intel Product Security Report. Right. And we're also going to be covering some of the highlights from a paper published by ABI Research, which is an independent study commissioned by Intel and to have it do a little bit of a competitive analysis around investments in product security assurance, which we talk about a lot here. So let's set the context. In a September 2023 blog post, Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger said product security is not just a nice to have, and he challenged the industry to find silicon vendors who take as many steps and invest as much as we do to deliver more secure and resilient products to developers and customers. Yes, and he also challenged the whole industry to up their game and evolve product security assurance practices, incident response, and mitigation to help better protect customers' data and privacy. Then Pat showed his competitive spirit when he said, I'm so confident in how we look for potential vulnerabilities and the critical response to any identified that I would put the power of our product security assurance up against our direct competitors. And according to that ABI research paper, Intel scored highest and ranked number one across the silicon industry in product security assurance. We encourage the viewers to read the paper and to understand ABI's research methodology. There should be a link down around here somewhere. In the 2023 product security report, we go a step further and provide a competitive analysis of platform firmware vulnerabilities disclosed during the year by both Intel and AMD. And you know, Jerry, I, I, I'm not aware of anyone in the industry who thinks vulnerability count comparisons are a good way to compare product security. Me either, Krobe. Uh, these are just indicators of good assurance practices. For example, when you look at the chart on page eight of the report, you see that Intel's proactive efforts drove the discovery and mitigation of 94% of the vulnerabilities we disclosed in 2023. Wow, that's pretty cool. On page 10 of the report, it shows that compared to 2022, we had 38% fewer firmware vulnerabilities and 47% fewer hardware vulnerabilities. We did see a significant increase in software bugs, but this is something we're excited about because this is due to the fact that our bug bounty programs have become so popular with security researchers. Yes, we have seen a 152% increase in the number of unique uh, researchers engaged in our bug bounty program since 2019. Uh, this is partly due to the success of bug bounty events through Intel's innovative Project Circuit Breaker program. And we highly encourage viewers to check out the cool events on projectcircuitbreaker.com and learn how we bring the research community together with Intel engineers to collaborate on hunting bugs. So let's talk a little bit about that Intel AMD competitive analysis. As my pal Jerry mentioned, we look at platform firmware, and this is really the first time we've been able to do this because as near as is publicly observable, AMD did not disclose internally found vulnerabilities until May of 2022. So 2023 was our first full calendar year that we could look at this apples to apples comparison. And for this report, we define platform firmware as firmware that maps to silicon and it is generally ships as part of the processor platform. And on page 13 of the report, we see some generic examples of the types of firmware that fall into this category, included trusted execution environments, dedicated security processors, UEFI, and others. The result, AMD had three times more vulnerabilities in this category than Intel. But the report digs deeper into the firmware that forms a chain of trust that is critical for the platform to boot securely and the firmware responsible for each company's confidential computing features. And that hardware chain, chain, chain of trust refers to a chain of events that ensures that when a computer boots with verified code, and in this category, we see that AMD had over three and a half times as many vulnerabilities as Intel. On page 17, we dig into each company's secure processors, which are often referred to as the hardware root of trust. For us, that's the Converged Security and Management Engine, or Intel CSME, and uh, AMD Secure Processor, or ASP, on the AMD side. This is another indicator of good product assurance practice as we show the five-year history of CSME firmware vulnerabilities has a steady downward trend with only two issues, both found internally in 2023, while AMD reported 22 times more vulnerabilities in their secure processor. Confidential computing is all about the protection of data that's used in public cloud environments. And here we see that AMD had two and a half times more firmware vulnerabilities in their features, including several arbitrary code execution errors and memory integrity issues. 
Well, that's the quick high-level summary of the 2023 Intel Product Security Report. We encourage viewers to take a look at the full report and to consider Pat's challenge to find a vendor in the silicon industry who takes as many steps and invests as much as we do in product security insurance.